the old British Waterways building, it was derelict for quite some time. And with the right application, it was done up. But it's alright to do up buildings where people will visit. What I think is more important in Nottingham is to do up places where people live. This building, for instance, was burnt out five years ago. Nothing's obviously been able to develop there because they've just left the building as it is. It's an atrocious eyesore and I don't see why we should have to put up with something like this in our city. As you can see behind me, there's actually the uh, old boots factory that's been sat derelict for a long time. Now, in Nottingham, we do have immense parts of the city uh, that have a, a, quite a high land value in which nothing is being done with them. This building behind me, for instance, could be renovated into apartments, which in turn would provide jobs in construction and labouring. Those jobs then, again, in turn, would provide money to families, in the case that would probably lift a lot of families in Nottingham out of poverty. This is Nottingham's council house. It's where the political leadership of Nottingham uh, administrate the city. And I'm guessing that one's view of the city would be very, very different from somebody who looks at the building rather than somebody who looks from the building. This is the council's new £200 million development for their offices down by the canal side. It often strikes me as odd that they've got money for buildings like this, but not money to do with the communities that so desperately need it. We're only about half a mile, if that, from the ivory towers, the new developments of Nottingham where the money's being spent. We might only be half a mile, but this may as well be a million miles away. When obviously the people are let down, and areas like this just go untouched, they are spawning grounds for crime, drugs and poverty. That is something that we need to tackle, and I don't think it can be tackled by a new school or a Shore Start Centre, no. It needs to be tackled by doing simple things, like saying to developers, big plot of land, nothing being done with it, why not move in there? Here we see boarded up properties in a downplayed area of the city, known as Saints Hands. There's nothing wrong with the properties, I'm guessing they probably served as very good homes. The problem is, is that they are an affront. Not an affront to what Nottingham is, but an affront to what the political leadership want Nottingham to be. I honestly think that uh, uh, the market, which should really be the centrepiece of our community, could be another Camden, it could be another Newark, it could easily be another Mansfield. What we, don't, what we miss out when we don't do this is we miss out on a large part of our, our community, a large part of our heritage, and more crucially, a large part of who we are. And in losing that, I think we lose something great. And I think that we need to return Nottingham to what Nottingham should be, not what people want it to be.